Giles Kennedy, otherwise known as Giles Kennedy, founder, chief rail nut, and editor of the Ohio Railroader, here with Michael Percy, president of the Cocosing no, Valley. No, 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 not president. president. No, I'm you're just not a president. You're just a member. Just a member. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's clarify that. <laughs> of the Cocosing Valley uh, mm -hmm. Central Model Railroad Club, based mm -hmm. out of Mount Vernon. Mm -hmm. A lot of exciting things. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing is you just recently moved into the old Pennsylvania. Railroad Depot. Just tell me how, how that came about. Well, I, I'm a member of the Foundation Park Conservancy, which um, is working with the city of Mount Vernon to refurbish um, the depot, the 1905 depot, for use as a visitor center for our park. And in negotiations with the city for the renovation, I, I convinced them that it would be great to have a model railroad club in the basement of this depot. And the really nice thing, too, you're not only getting the Knox County mm -hmm. Park Board, but you're getting the City of Mount Vernon Parks Correct. Department in here as well. Correct. Correct. What more entail is that going to happen once everything comes around for all the work being right. done? What What is the depot going to be for the City of Mount Vernon? Well, the depot um, sits along what is going to be the Ohio to Erie Trail, which um, by 2020, should be con you should be able to ride your bicycle from... Cleveland to Cincinnati and stay on bike trail the whole way. Um, in the city of Mount Vernon, we sit in the middle of this bike trail. And so we essentially sit within one day's ride of Cleveland, Columbus, and a lot of the rest of the state. So what we wanted is we wanted a place to show people passing through our pride in our community and, and a reason to stop and, and visit. Um, and so we felt that this, this depot was as it once was it was a passageway into our community we felt that it was time to make it once again a passageway to our community where where people are going to stop get off their bikes learn more about our community mm -hmm. possibly spend money here and stay the night and maybe want to come back and visit and so that's really our intent with the depot is to once again be that hub of activity for visitors to our community and I've also noticed coming up from Westerville, the Heart of Ohio Trail, otherwise known as the Hoot Trail, mm -hmm. and a lot of extensive work to be done mm -hmm. on that to get ready to be connected mm -hmm. with the Kokosin Gap Trail. It will actually, the Heart of Ohio Trail will be complete this year, um, and it will join the Kokosin Gap Trail at the, the milepost 100, 100 miles from Hudson. That is where the actual two trails will connect this year. Um, the paving on the Heart of Ohio Trail will begin within the next 90 days and will be completed by August 1st. Excellent, excellent. So the um, only part of uh, in Knox County that will left to be paved will be a small portion of the Cocosin Gap Trail um, between here and, and its current beginning and then from Centerburg south to the Delaware County line. Any websites people can check out? At this point, there is a website for the Ohio Erie Trail. Um, within 90 days, there will be an Aerial Foundation Park um, website um, that will be up and running here shortly. Um, and that will have pictures of the depot and more information about the depot and the, the park that the trail will sit aside, um, which is a 258-acre park um, in the middle of Mount Vernon. And also, to let you know, folks, I have taken a photo shoot of not only the club, but also the restoration process. You'll see that later on this evening on the Ohio Railroad or Facebook page. I will work up a text article for both the Facebook page and the website. So we'll have that connected as well. And I'll, I'll do some research on some mm -hmm. links that you can check out. Information about Knox County. I'm from here. It's a beautiful piece of country up here. It's really a nice mm -hmm. place to visit. And the fact that Michael and the gang from the Cocosin Valley Central have taken the time to not only work along with the restoration mm -hmm. process, but they want to be part of the community as well. Mm -hmm. So, again, Michael, thank you for your mm -hmm. time. I appreciate sure. you, and yeah. I hope to look forward to seeing you in the future. Yep. Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah.